Welcome back everybody to the UTSA Roadrunners Dynasty. UTSA returns home after a heartbreaker last week against Baylor, a loss that likely cost them a chance at a Big 12 championship with a 3-3 conference record. But today they try to rebound against a winless UCF Knights team that has recently joined the Big 12 and is not seeing much success this season. They haven't won a game. What more is there to say? I look at their roster, it doesn't seem like a team that should have zero wins. Like, you gotta run into one eventually, you think. But they haven't done it. They're running out of chances, and it may not happen. But UTSA can't afford to let their guard down. UCF wants that first victory, and they'd love to spoil UTSA's senior day here in the Alamo Dome. This is a game I always look forward to because it's the last time these seniors will play at home. Who leaves a lasting impression here in their final game? We're going to find out as the Roadrunners kick off against the Knights and UTSA will receive the opening kickoff. Deshaun Washington back deep as we get Roadrunner football underway. From the three, Washington across the 20 with a spin down the sideline, across the 35, a good run back. Senior quarterback Jacoby Criswell leads out the offense. Senior tailback Vince Taylor is behind him on first down. Gets the opening play and picks up a gain of six on the dive. The running game really failed in the second half of last week's game. UTSA trying to establish it early and grinding out a gain of nine is Vince Taylor. First down. They go with a three receiver set now on first and 10. Wide open, catch made, that's Chris Woods. Gain of 11. Wide receiver Joe Wright is off to the right side here on second down. Off the fake, dumped off, Taylor. He breaks a tackle down the sideline. He gets 25 before he's tripped up. Busy opening drive for Vince Taylor. It's goal to go. They run it. Taylor trying to run to the edge. And he gets to the end zone. Touchdown. The senior strikes first on senior day. And the Roadrunners take it right down the field on their first possession. Baylor upset us a week ago, then won against West Virginia during the bye, and fell by seven to Texas this week. They have one more chance to become bowl eligible. But here is the Knights offense. Mikey Keene is the quarterback, and on first down, he's intercepted, and it's Marvin Stokes, pick six. The senior safety strikes on senior day. Well... This looks like an 0-10 team right now. We went right down the field, get a pick six, and it's 14 zip. We have just barely settled in for today. Mikey Keene throwing across the middle, and this time he finds Caden Robinson for a gain of 10. Trying to shake off that pick six. It is a pass to the outside. Griffin bounces away for a moment, gains eight. Crowd getting behind the road runners on third down with a run. Richardson hurdles into the lane and he's off to the races. 10 5 touchdown. Johnny Richardson goes 52. How about this lane they opened up? And he had to hurl over a defender there to get to it. Big score there for the Knights as they make it 14 7. And drive number two gets underway for the Roadrunner offense. Jacoby Criswell pressured and sacked. Pressure got through the middle that time pretty quickly. That sets up a second down and 15. Pressured inside again. Criswell is sacked on back-to-back -back plays. A three and out for UTSA. Short field, Central Florida. Down seven. Keen protected, going deep, caught by Robinson. This game is tied. And just like that, what looked to be a blowout in the making has become a competitive game as UCF, 0-10 record and all, answers back. 
Here is a second down, and Wright can't hold on to it. That one is incomplete. The Knights' defense is making plays. Now they need the 39 on third down. Across the middle, first down to Keetron Jackson. Ball at the 44 as they bring right across. This is Taylor. Hit down rather quick. It's a gain of four. Jackson slot right, third and five. Pressure on the way. Chriswell, incomplete for Curtis Davis. Tight coverage again. Davis couldn't hold on, and the Knights will get it back. Down 14, nothing. You got to give them credit. The way they have answered with two big play touchdowns. Now a broken tackle, and Demarius Good has a short return, and UCF takes over. Roadrunner's got to be a little surprised right now. This is Richardson now running inside, and he gains 10 more. You worry about the run defense here of UTSA, always pretty inconsistent. And now Griffin on the bubble screen gets loose for 14. Seems like Keen has settled in now after the opening pick six. He throws complete again, this time into UTSA territory. That's Titus Mikeo Adi Malala. And the Knights keep it moving. Offense getting a groove. Second down. That one's caught. First down, Jordan Johnson. They move the sticks again. You can tell this team is hungry for that first victory. Good gets the carry and is tripped up by Preston Quinn. We need some plays out of this defense. That backs them up for third and seven. They need the 17. Keen protected. There's Griffin. And a little shy. He's a yard short. They'll bring out the field goal team. But still, this is a team that fell down 14-0 in a blink. And with this field goal, they have made it 17-14. What an answer. UTSA is trailing. They look to set up a screen. It's out to Taylor. That looked really awkward there, floating it over the defender. It's a gain of nine. Taylor very involved here early and carries again on second down. This time it's a loss. Kadeem Leonard with the play. Setting up third and three. Back to the air. Quick throw incomplete for Joe Wright. Tight coverage again. Three and out. This offense hasn't looked good since their opening drive. 17-14. Knights take over. A four-man rush, Keen floating, it's intercepted again! Marvin Stokes has his second! An acrobatic play! What a grab! Two interceptions taking care of the flats, what a start for Stokes, and the jump start this team has needed. Chris Swell, wide open, Joe Wright hauls it in. There's 17. Maybe they're struggling because that's the first catch of the game for him. He's had some chances, though. Taylor on the run, cutting downhill, hit down at the one. Third and goal. Can they punch this in? With two fullbacks in, they'll try it, and Taylor is in for the touchdown. Second of the day, Roadrunners back on top. So we've seen this initial energy out of the Knights. Now that UTSA has counterpunched, is there more fight? Here's Keen. He's going to run away from pressure, and he does find a little bit of room. Gain of seven. Third down now. Got to get across the 50, and they do. Justin Richardson. Gain of 10 on the reception. We'd like to see a little more from this front four. Getting some disruption on Keen, and that's what they do on this play. He is sacked by Eric Crenshaw. Third down and long now. They got to go a long way, and they'll just run it. Richardson to the 40 and falling ahead. Makes it a fourth and six, and it looks like they're not sending out the field goal or the punt team. They're 0-10. They got to go get six. They're going to go for it, and they get it. First down to good. Foot on the gas for UCF. 2.50 to play in the first half. Keen completes again. Tough grab made for a gain of six. Third and short. 
Loading the box, but it's a throw. Keen swarmed and sacked. It's Preston Quinn. They love getting aggressive on third down. Check this out. No quarterback wants to stare into that blitz. Now they bring out the field goal team. We're looking at 48-yard try. No good. He pushed it left. The Roadrunners will take over. If you want to watch the game in uh, Washington instead, 2-0 Oregon, you go for it. I'll stick here with this game. 21-17 Roadrunners on top. That's a catch. Johnny Jenkins getting some more playing time and making the most of it, too. Looking to score before the half. On second down, almost intercepted. Leonard had a chance, but the Roadrunners keep the ball for third and ten. And now the Knights bring pressure, and Chriswell is dumped. They've gotten interior pressure consistently here in the first half. Passing game not comfortable for the Roadrunners. Here's Keen. More pressure, but wide open is Johnson. Good throwing there from Mikey Keen. 53 seconds on the clock. Here's a third down for the Knights. To the outside, and that one took Robinson backwards. Really strange play there. And they'll try another long field goal. This one's a little bit further out than the last one. And this time, it comes up short. Missed it by a few there. That is just too far. So the Roadrunners have it again. 44 seconds on the clock. Chriswell floats it. There's Woods. And he gets out of bounds. Gain of 12. They have all their timeouts. 34 seconds. Chriswell dumps it right through the hands of Taylor. 7 of 15 passing. Looking a little discombobulated here today. And now rolling out to the left, Chris Swell, back to the middle, there's right, in a foot race, and he's off to the races, touchdown! Everything is easier when the ball is in 18's hands. Jacoby Chriswell breaks a record, 27 passing touchdowns on the season, that is a UTSA record, a lot of them, almost half going to Joe Wright. Who makes it 28-17 at the break? Nice job bookending this half for the Roadrunners. That first half had a little bit of everything. We've seen some seniors make huge plays for the Roadrunners, and the Knights have shown that they're capable of making this game interesting. But UTSA currently on a 14-0 run as the Knights open the second half and continue to find open receivers. Jordan Johnson. Compared to us, it seems like there's always somebody wide open as long as they have protection. And now Richardson gets 10. He's ran well throughout this game on his seven carries, one being a 52-yard touchdown. Back to him, and Richardson fighting through contact. I like his style. They bring down Jason Hall on second down. It's Richardson running to the right, chased down by Keith Cowan. That brings up third down. And again, Hall creeping around the line. They run it with good, and Hall's there on the stop. I think the closer he is to the line of scrimmage, the better he is. And they're going to try a field goal, and this is another long one. From 50 plus, it flies offline nearly into the tunnel. That's over-kicking right there. 28-17, UTSA against the Blitz. Chriswell gets out of there, and there is nothing downfield. 50% completion percentage. Third down, Chriswell protected. Caught by Jackson. That looks like a potential pick until he got in front of the defender but he gave up the progress. It's fourth down, sneaking ahead is Chris Well. Did he get it? They signal first down UTSA. That's pretty aggressive on your own half. They'll run it. Taylor all the way out. He slips a tackle and takes it down to the 26. 22 more on the carry. Chuck Bell, the fullback, is in on first down. 
Here comes Jackson, and he's taken down immediately. Loss of five on that last one. Second down and 15 toward the end zone and intercepted. Francois keeping UCF in this game. They're down 11 as this one just couldn't get enough air under it. The Knights have it. Keen throwing complete. There's Griffin laid out after a 17-yard catch. They're at their own 38, first and 10. Keen wants to run, gets hit and sacked. Only a loss of one, but that's a sack for Patrick Jenkins. On second down, Richardson around Quinn, outrunning him to the edge, first down. 16 more to the speedy running back. They've been moving the ball well today, but now the blitz gets to Keen and he is sacked. And there's Keith Cowan. Aggressiveness paying off for this defense. But now Richardson through a lane, tripped up right near the marker. 146 for Richardson. Third and inches. And Bennett hauls it in. Gets away from the first defender. That's first down yardage. They just keep finding a way. The Knights keep fighting. Keen complete to Robinson. Gain of six. Four of nine on third down. Staying with the run, Richardson rewards that decision. First down, UCF as this third quarter winds down. Another run, Richardson, this time hit quickly. It's only a gain of six, around half of his daily average. And now third down, heading to the air again. Keen to the end zone, incomplete! Cowan on the coverage, breaks it up. The Knights add three. We're back to a one-score game. Third quarter almost complete. Chris Swell dumps it to Taylor. Not much there. Hoping to extend this drive. Three receivers. Here comes pressure, and he's sacked again. Chris Swell thrown down to end the third quarter. And the Knights... Look to pull off their second comeback of the game. Short field. Keen. Complete. That's Johnson. And he fights his way ahead for a gain of seven. They need the touchdown plus the two-point conversion. Blitz coming. Throw is complete. Good. Down at the 15. Another answer for the Knights. 15 yards out. Under pressure, Keen completes anyway, it's Johnson. Goal to go UCF. Trying to punch this in. Richardson to the left of Keen, looking to throw, and it's caught, but coming out of the end zone was Mikeo Adi Malala. So it's second and goal from inside the one, and Richardson does not break the plane. Still inside the one. Third and goal. Keen hit in the backfield. He loses a bunch. And it's Eric Crenshaw. Fourth down coming up. Offense staying in the game for UCF. One more play. Empty the backfield. Keen on the draw. Hit. Doesn't get it. Turnover on downs. A goal line stand for the Roadrunners. Unbelievable! Not quite Kalispell against Penn State, but a close second. But now, do not fumble this. It's a clean play. It's Taylor to the outside for the breathing room. Oh, and a first down, too. Roadrunners facing a second down and seven. Here's pressure coming. And wide open! Caught by Davis! He's down the sideline with one man to beat who catches him after a 58-yard catch and run. They beat the Blitz, and Chris Well shatters more records. Now holds the career passing yard mark. Running, Taylor with a bounce to the outside. Gets the first and cuts it downhill violently. I love that cut from Vince Taylor. Check the ankles of that defender. Wow. Goal to go, Roadrunners. Off the fake, jump ball. Incomplete for Joe Wright. 
Four receivers. Chriswell empty. It's a screen. Wright on the catch. Touchdown. Joe Wright. Two touchdowns on the day. And UTSA opens their lead up. Leading by two touchdowns here in the fourth quarter. Can they hold on? Last gasp for UCF. They'll run it with Richardson to the outside and hit out of bounds with a gain of eight. He's been consistent throughout the game. Third down. They keep it on the ground. Good. Lost the ball. Quinn scoops. He's going to score. Roadrunners running away in the fourth quarter. And that should do it. And the ball was knocked out by the fourth linebacker, Jeff Wilson. 42 to 20. Looking like a blowout now, but give UCF credit for the way they've battled and continue to battle. This is good with a good return right after losing that fumble. Three and a half minutes to go in the ball game. Keen still throwing, leaping grab. Mikeo. Adi Malala. First and 10. Quinn back for the sack. The scoop and score wasn't enough for Preston Quinn. Creeping the safety down. Here comes pressure. Keen completes. Fourth down and nine. What do the Knights have here? They need the 20. Keen protected, going to the end zone, and it's intercepted! A.J. Brown, the senior, shuts it down! What a day for the seniors of the Roadrunner football team. Trey Irvine's going to close this one out for us as Curtis Mills gets a first down run. Again, not really the rushing day we've been looking for. This is Irvine now looking to leave the pocket and show off some of his speed. And he gets the first down, losing the ball, rolling safely to the Roadrunner bench. Maybe one or two more plays here, and the pass from Irvine through the hands of Holman. And this play here should bring us to the end. A screen for Mills, not much on it. The clock will run out, and that is your ball game. A little bit of drama here on Senior Day, but that just gave them a chance to secure this win. Marvin Stokes with two interceptions. We just saw AJ's, and then Vince Taylor had some big plays on the day. I always love seeing the seniors ball out in this game, and they did that. Most importantly, it is a victory for UTSA, moving to 8-3 on the season, 4-3 now in the Big 12 Conference. I was surprised at how much trouble they gave our passing game. They contested so much, they got good pressure, it was legitimately tough. The running game, 94, two scores for Vince Taylor, pretty happy with his overall performance. Joe Wright scores twice. And then defensively, when we can build a lead and play aggressively, it's just so much fun. I've become much more aggressive with uh, third downs as I've just figured out more ways to create pressure and I'm willing to give up the flats to go and send five or six if I'm feeling up to it. So for Jacoby Chriswell, 28 touchdowns. That is a team record as he has been better than a year ago. And then for Joe Wright, he is obviously doing more than last year. He did not get to 1,000 a year ago, and now he's over 1,100 with 13 receiving touchdowns. And on defense, Preston Quinn, Eric Crenshaw, those two have been great. And I think Corey Zmolik is coming into his own. And then the seniors, they each have four interceptions there, Stokes and Brown. Joe Wright. Number five in receiving yards here in college football as the Roadrunners do bump up to 22 here in the coach poll and they will take on Cincinnati next week. Nine and two and they'd be like the number 27 team. They've gotten votes, but somehow they're not ranked. Now, this is an interesting team because they're nine and two 
thanks to a group of skill players on offense that are really carrying this team. And this is going to be our season finale, taking on Bob Young, the former UTSA quarterback who never really got the chance to be the starter. And so he transferred as many quarterbacks do these days, and he's found a good home in Cincinnati. Jerome Ford has been productive in the backfield. Tyler Scott, the number one receiver, has done well. And this is a team on the verge of double-digit wins and a Big 12 championship berth. And there's not much we can do about it. And honestly, I don't think it even mattered if we beat Baylor because they've played an extra conference game. They're going to have the advantage record-wise. As we check out recruiting today, a couple more players have made choices and some choosing other schools. Jaden Adamora, defensive end, goes to Oklahoma State. And then Cameron King, a wide receiver, decides on Houston. But we do add to our class this week with running back Demetrius Robinson, who is a power back. I've been looking for a powerful running back. What I like, though, is that he also has good elusiveness, juke, and spin. We don't know his strength or his speed, so I'm really curious how he ends up because I think there's a lot of potential here with what I see. I'd love to get one or two more players in our last week of recruiting this year, but right now it's looking like we're going to have to choose between a lot of players in the offseason. So if we could wrap some of these up, that would be fantastic. Right now, we have a middle-of-the-pack draft class, a recruiting class. Seven players with 17 outgoing seniors, so we're not going to reach 17. We're going to have some walk-ons next year. But I think that we're putting together a pretty good class, and I'm still excited about some of the red-shirted players that we've never even seen. But that is going to bring this episode to an end. A fun episode today and next time, the showdown against Bob Young in Cincinnati should be a fantastic time. Thank you for the support. Hope you're excited for the next episode as that will be coming your way next week. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next episode.